So what is goodwill premium? If the full value of the goodwill, if the full value of the goodwill exists in the balance sheet, then there is no goodwill premium to be brought in by the new partner. No goodwill premium. So what is goodwill premium? Goodwill premium is the share of the new partner in the goodwill, existing goodwill of the firm. To which the new partner as of date has made no contribution. So if there is goodwill in the firm and if this goodwill is not there in the balance sheet, is not there in the balance sheet, then the new partner should bring in an amount of goodwill premium which is nothing but an amount equal to his share new partner's share in goodwill. And what is goodwill? How much is goodwill? There are methods of valuation of goodwill which we have discussed earlier. So what is the goodwill premium? This is the amount, his share in the goodwill which is valued to the extent that it is not there in the balance sheet. If the full value exists in the balance sheet, I repeat, the benefit of that goodwill is already reflected in the capital accounts of the partners. If it is already exists in the balance sheet, like all other assets, the net worth of the business is nothing but assets minus liabilities, which is the old partner's capital accounts, which is the old partner's capital accounts. <clears throat> So if goodwill exists in the balance sheet, the new and of the same value, if you value goodwill for 5 lakh and there is goodwill amounting to 5 lakh in the balance sheet, then no goodwill premium needs to be brought in by the new partner. No goodwill premium. But if goodwill is undervalued in the balance sheet, let us say goodwill actual value is 5 lakh. This is the value. But in the balance sheet, the value is 2 lakhs. Therefore, an amount of 3 lakhs is not in the balance sheet. Not in balance sheet. New partner comes in for one third share. New partner C comes in for one third share. So, 3 lakh into one third equal to 1 lakh is the amount of goodwill premium which C must bring in. What is this? His share one third. What is the amount of undervaluation? What is the value of the goodwill which is not shown in the balance sheet? It is 3 lakh. What is C's share? One third. So one third of this 3 lakh, of this undervalued amount, about of the value which is not shown in the balance sheet, he should bring in as goodwill premium. But if goodwill is overvalued in the balance sheet, in that case, it is best. Let us say the actual value of goodwill is 5 lakh. But in the balance sheet, it is in the balance sheet, it is 8 lakhs. So there is overvaluation of goodwill by 3 lakh. There is overvaluation of goodwill by 3 lakh. In such a case, this goodwill should be written off. It should be written off. How is it written off? <clears throat> How do we write off goodwill? We credit goodwill. To write off goodwill, we have to credit goodwill. What do we debit? We debit old partners' capital accounts. Old partners' capital accounts. Debit to goodwill. Amount, how much we need to write off? 3 lakh. 3 lakh and 3 lakh. In what ratio? Old ratio. In what ratio? Old ratio. So if goodwill is overvalued, old partner's capital accounts debit to goodwill and write off the amount that is overvalued. So what is it? If the full value of the bal full value of goodwill exists in the balance sheet, no goodwill premium needs to be brought in by the new partner. If goodwill is undervalued in the balance sheet, then he must bring in an amount equal to his share in the undervalued amount in the amount that is not reflected in the balance sheet. 
What happens to this amount that is brought in? This amount which is brought in is distributed to A and B in their, in their sacrificing ratio. In their sacrificing ratio. If goodwill is overvalued, then the amount should be written off to the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio. And if there is no goodwill in the balance sheet, then what does the new partner have to do? If there is no goodwill in the balance sheet, the new partner must bring in goodwill premium. What is the amount of goodwill premium? His share in the amount of goodwill, which is valued. It doesn't exist, but we value goodwill. And his share of the goodwill is the amount of goodwill premium he is required to bring in. He may bring in, he may not bring in. Let us see the accounting entries. What happens when he brings in? He does not bring in. Money is retained. Money is not retained, etc., etc., etc. Now, suppose this goodwill premium which has been ascertained is paid privately by the new partner to the old partners. It is possible that the amount of goodwill premium is let us say see the amount of goodwill is let us say 3 lakh therefore goodwill premium assuming there are partners A, B and new partner C. A and B profit sharing ratio equal. A, B and C now also will be equal. Goodwill valued at 3 lakh. <clears throat> If it is 3 lakh, C's share is one third of 3 lakh equal to 1 lakh. Of course, this is assuming there is no goodwill in the balance sheet. So, it is 1 lakh. This 1 lakh, what does C do? C pays to A and B. C pays A and C pays B. How much equally since the profit sharing ratio between A and B was equal before, it is equal later, their sacrificing ratio will also be equal. So, basically, C is supposed to bring in a goodwill premium of 1 lakh. What he does is, he pays this 1 lakh to the partners privately. He pays 50,000 to A, he pays 50,000 to B privately. If that is done, then we do not need any entry in the books. We do not need any entry in the books. Next, it is possible that this is retained in the business. That is, C brings in this money and it remains in the business. What would be the accounting entry in that case? <clears throat> For cash which is brought in, we would say cash account debit to C's capital account. Cash account debit to C's capital account. Let us say he brings in the premium of 1 lakh. What do we do to this amount which is brought in? This is to be shared by A and B in their sacrificing ratio which we know is equal. How do we know it is equal? Because the profit sharing ratio between A and B before admission was 1 is to 1. After admission also they are equal partners. It is 1 is to 1 between them, between A and B. So the sacrificing ratio will also be 1 is to 1. So what do we do now? If it is retained in the business, first cash is brought in cash to seize capital account. But who is to benefit? A and B is to benefit. So we will debit C's capital account will be debited by this 1 lakh, the goodwill premium and this will go to A's capital and B's capital in their, in their sacrificing ratio which happens to be equal, which happens to be equal. So this is one entry, this is the other entry, next entry. If this is when it is retained in the business. Cash has after all been brought in, but A and B are not withdrawing the cash. Cash resources have therefore increased by this 1 lakh, which has been brought in by C as goodwill premium. If this money is withdrawn by the old partners, then in addition to this, we pass an entry for money withdrawal. We say money goes out, we credit cash, we debit A's capital account, A, B's capital account, assuming they have withdrawn 50,000 each to cash, bank, whatever, one lakh. 
this would be the additional entry if the money is withdrawn by the old partners. So the cash resources come down and the partners withdraw this amount of goodwill premium brought in by the new partner C. Suppose the other alternative is that it is not brought in by the new partner. Premium is not brought in by the new partner. If it is not brought in, cash account debit to C's capital account entry is not passed. However, we will debit C's capital account and credit A and B's capital account. We will pass this entry. C's capital account debit with what? With his share of goodwill, which in this case is one third of 3 lakh, 1 lakh. And we will credit A's capital and B's capital account in their, in their sacrificing ratio. What happens as a result of this is that C's capital stands reduced by 1 lakh. So in future, he has actually, he has been asked to pay a compensation. His account has been debited. His capital account has reduced by this amount of premium of goodwill premium which he was supposed to bring in. And A and B's capital accounts have been suitably credited so that in future going forward if the goodwill is disposed of, if the business is disposed of, all partners will be sharing the goodwill appropriately, correctly. C has already paid the compensation for this goodwill to A and B. <coughs> to A and B. Let us take an example, consider an example in each of these cases and see the journal entries 